How do you think people perceive you and this idea? I think they're relative. They're, they're generally s supportive. They think that I'm a, a little, my, a little bit obsessed. You know, there are lots of predictions that machines heavier than air would never fly. There's a lot of naysayers on anything that hasn't been demonstrated yet. My name is Louis Michaud. I'm the uh, inventor of this atmospheric vortex engine. We don't like to use the word tornado because it scares people, but basically what it does produce is, is a tornado. And well, why would you want to do it? Because tornadoes are destructive. But what I have realized is that there's a potential of using that process for producing energy. A large hurricane produces more energy than all the electricity we produce in a year. So if you could produce you know, a number of small tornadoes, then effectively we could produce our electricity without producing any greenhouse gas. Nature is doing stuff all the time and machines take advantage of that. You know, when you think of tornadoes, for example, Mother Nature does it all on its own without any help from us. What could it do if we were trying to help it and use the energy that it's produced? Sarnia is a petrochemical city and I've worked for 25 years here at Imperial Oil, which is a, an oil company, and did this as a complete sideline until I retired. Probably in the f couple of years after we were married, um, it started. This is a, a very early prototype of a vortex producer that I built back in the 70s. He was spending a lot of nights awake thinking of this and churning these ideas out. I do spend a few hours a day at least uh, on this and probably think about it uh, half the night type of thing. So that's a fire whirl. I could ask him questions and I don't know if he really caught on what I was talking about because he was so concentrated on whatever he was reading. So I should have taken advantage of this more. <laughs> I'm not the first one on this, by the way. There was a French engineer in the 40s. He suggested uh, a device for producing a vortex. But you know, but if you present this type of idea to the Department of Energy, you know, they've got thousands of ideas. And so somebody's got to believe. To produce a vortex, you need two things. You need warm air, which has the potential of being buoyant as it rises. And you also have to give that air rotation. I call this a one meter prototype. It's a little bit more than one meter, actually. It's, it's the biggest indoor prototype that we've made. For the Lenten College project, we received from Breakout Labs a research grant, $300,000. Basically, it's funded by Peter Thiel, the founder of PayPal. That allowed us to build the prototype at Lampton. The way it works is we put in some heat in the bottom and have warm air enter an upper chamber tangentially and as it converges towards the center it forms a vortex and the idea would be to use the pressure reduction at the base of that vortex to drive a turbine and produce power. How did it look? I've seen more ro stronger rotation than this uh, but it's uh, it's fine. I've had you know considerable difficulties and I was hoping we will produce a, a vortex every day and we're not able to do that of course you know you know I think the the fact that we were able to produce a vortex at all at Lambton was significant but it's it's only a start many people who have realized the potential of this process have ended up suffering and somewhat in poverty because of their obsession uh, with it. You know, I've been able to get a good livelihood as working as an engineer. And, you know, in a way it's been, it's been interesting. It's been interesting for me. The reason I stuck with it is because I thought it, was, it had the potential of solving an important problem for us on Earth here. And I, I still believe that it really does. Do you ever have doubts? Uh, no, I don't have doubts. You know, I, I'm not discouraged that it could be done. I don't know if I'll be the one that'll do it. 
I'm very proud of what I've been able to, to, to get on this. And uh, you know, if I can contribute something to, to our clean energy future, uh, I, I think that no matter what happened, I'll die thinking that I have. <laughs>